now I'm ready to move on to my Flickr feed and essentially what I want to do is pull photos of my city into um, the container, the photos container. Now I want to pull them from Flickr and uh, the reason actually I chose Flickr because they have a really robust API that has a lot of different options and there's a lot of people who uh, made some cool plugins for it. And essentially what I, what I want to do is just kind of get some new, every once in a while I have some new pictures load in there. So, well, what am I going to do? Uh, I'll probably start with a Google search, uh, as I always do, because there's just a ton of stuff out there. And I'll go uh, Flickr, you know, what I do, I did jQuery Flickr uh, plugin. That looks promising. Let's see what that gives me. Um, You'll notice actually that there's a lot of them out there, and probably a lot of good ones as well. I mean, you know, there's there's more than I've ever used, but the one that I liked was the one found. Um, actually, not here. The one found right here uh, at HiFi at GetHiFi.com. There is an article that goes into the author's implementation of a uh, jQuery uh, Flickr feed plugin, and they called it. I think his. It's a. Let's see. Well, here's the page, and actually, let me just quickly download the file. I do believe it's called yeah J Flickr feed. Um, there we go. And if we kind of just from the page before we do anything, you know, when you bump into a plugin probably before you bother working with it you want to at least check out what it does and and here's at it in its most basic form is just based I mean this right here is pulling um, pictures based on a specific user in the in the uh, in Flickr so this user has these photos and that's this is what this all this plugin does is pull thumbnails like this. Now, that's exactly what I want for for my page. Now, in these photos section over here, I want to have little thumbnails of St. Petersburg. So this would be actually perfect. And I look so well. That's kind of cool. It takes you to another page. That's all right. Um, with color box. Ah, that actually looks a bit cooler with that cool overlay and then when you go down you see yet another one where it has um, a banner so that's just kind of going right through it cute dogs and well this one just I guess with it says uh, use without templates and there's not much going on here so whatever just a, this is kind of a basic overview and um, hey you know what I like this this looks cool so why don't I um, go ahead and, and you know use it or at least try to see how it's going to be used in my page so I downloaded it from the site let me unpackage it and now let me take kind of a quick peek at what's inside so alright the cycle and the color box were two extras that in the demo page were um, a little bit beyond the basic use so kind of assuming these these are like some jQuery plugins in themselves and that's exactly what they are okay um, interesting so the author has both the uh, jQuery feed and the minimized version that you want to use when you're actually using your page uh, okay so important to note something we discussed in in previous videos is so we're gonna be getting Flickr, we're going to get getting information from outside our domain. So obviously this is a JSON implementation, right? This is using JSON somewhere in the code. And if you look at the neatly formatted, um, the neatly formatted page over here, the JavaScript, we see that JSON it is pulling it. And you know what's interesting? What could be a potential issue for us is if the callback, oh, look at this, if the callback is not set to the question mark, right? Because if it's not set to question mark, then it's a security issue and we may not be able to get 
um, data feeds from different domains you know cross domain scripting is basically what we're doing so the the JSON callback set to question mark actually makes it the JSON P you know JSON with padding that's how it treats it um, not much for you to worry about just kinda keep in mind you know I think the more you hear uh, the callback, the JSON, it'll kinda start to make sense to you so that's alright just keep in mind we need the callback JSON okay so let's actually start by linking well actually before I move ahead I'm kinda jumping the gun let me look at their example page in just code view to see what we need to link into our pages um, so here let's see they have style okay color box okay these are just the CSS files these are likely styling the main style which which probably the plugin that 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 he made color box is a color box style uh, this is interesting there's an uh, IE conditional statement we'll see what that's about later um, okay link into jQuery so we got that color box oh color box this is the actual J uh, the JavaScript so we won't need this for our initial if, if we're not going to use that color box effect we won't need this this is to make that banner thing happen we won't need this uh, we're definitely going to need this because this is the actual plugin that we have the JFlickr feed and setup is exactly is our script.js so uh, you know based on what I see here all I'm really going to need to do now is uh, link this thing up into my page via the I mean link the JavaScript that J feed that uh, J Flickr feed into the page and I also need to link that that style that CSS into my page